All right, so I'm hoping that we're going to get a better picture. Last time, I don't know if it blurred out. I'm not going to know until we put it on YouTube, but you're getting the, the essence and getting the feel of what's going on here. We just tried a wonderful Chilean wine. Cabernet, a little bit full, medium to full. Uh, I seem to like it the most out of us three. Great smile. So, another great smile. And it looks like we're going to try uh, uh, a Crianza 2008 uh, from Ribeiro del Duero, and I believe that is the Tinto Fino clone of uh, of Tempranillo. So, essentially, a Ribeiro del Duero in relation to Rioja, I think they typically have a tendency to be a little bit fuller, a little bit earthier. I, I could be totally out of line here. I'm just trying to put it all together. But we're going to uh, try this uh, wonderful new wine uh, next. So, going to let the tape roll and video, video as we go along. But this, uh, still got a little of the Chilean uh, delight left here. I'm enjoying that. So. Does it make, does it make sí. sense? Sí. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Great, but uh -huh, it's a yeah. different clone, so it's uh -huh. a little bit uh, from a different vine and, you know, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we were kind of discussing for a second how we were trying to talk about like how you can have one grape and you could have different clones of the grape like uh, Tempranillo from the Rioja region and then you have uh, then you have Ribera de Duero, del Duero I believe it's called the Tinto Fino clone of Tempranillo and then we were trying to use an example of Sangiovese and you know Sangiovese Grosso and Pugnolo Gentile different clones and I, I believe there's uh, an immense amount of clones of Sangiovese so uh, we're trying to uh, trying to talk and trying to uh, have a conversation and trying to explain the word clone. Uh, so I unfortunately don't speak a lot of uh, Espanol, I'm trying, but uh, we're communicating good and smiling and have a great time and uh, uh, they have a computer here so we were able to uh, get the definition of clone and we had a better understanding of uh, what, what I was trying to, I guess, articulate about the terminology uh, of clone in general. So. Uh, looking forward to this uh, next wine. I'm, I'm gathering it's going to be medium, medium bodied, nice earth to it, a lot of dark fruit. Uh, don't know much about it, so I'm curious and obviously intrigued and half, uh, half the charm yeah. of just, uh, yeah. just drinking yeah. wine in general is you, you just uh, so many different, so many different voices and textures and flavors and uh, looking forward to trying this. That's me, don't hold it against me. Should have ate before I came down, but uh, oh well. Live and learn, I'm living the life. I just played about an hour and a half of tennis and haven't eaten too much, but uh, you know, it's a beautiful day, drinking some great wines. Just, uh, you know, like I mentioned before on the walk down that uh, I had done a write-up previously last week. It was my first initial uh, time here and uh, treated wonderfully. And mm -hmm. on my blog, www.laydenlaydenrobinson.com. <laughs> Mixing it up with the water a little bit here. Uh, so looking forward to, really looking forward to this. Gracias. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we done a, uh, I did a write-up last week here uh, on the blog www.laydenrobinson.com and uh, it's a wonderful place, quaint like I said earlier on to reiterate that, just a uh, nice little seating area. And the sign on the uh, initial segment that I filmed, I guess they're going to do a big sale here if you're in the Escazú and San Jose area in Costa Rica. Uh, they're going to do a big sale here on Friday and Saturday, and it has some discounted case prices and whatnot. So uh, if you're looking just to have a great time to try some great wines and capitalize on some uh, wonderful wines at a great price, this would be the place to do it if you're in uh, the San Jose Escazú area of Costa Rica. So we're going to give this, we're going to give this a try. Me gusta? Me encanta. This mode. Mm, wow, much different. Yeah, yeah, much what is that? Yeah, 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 what is that? What's... 
<laughs> yeah, it's that you can use that uh, dill, dill, uh -huh. uh, D I L L, dill. It's that's from the American oak. You get that little bit of dill to it in the nose. You can. That's uh, the American oak is really prevalent. We were talking about too how. Uh, uh, most, uh, I, I guess most people that drink Spanish wine know this, that they're the only European nation that uses American oak. So uh, they use a combination of both American and French, but uh, the bottle had said uh, on this, I believe, about five months in American oak. And uh, that dill is very prevalent on the nose in the bouquet. Yeah, move in. Love the swirling activity. I can do it both ways too. I'm banging down on the regions. Yeah, it's very, very contemplative. It's dill and like almost like a clove uh, on the nose too, like a, a clove undertone. Wow, much, uh, much milder than the Chilean wine, much more mellow. Uh -huh. uh, very nice, very easy sipping. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, elegant mm -hmm. mouthfeel to it. Steven. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a beautiful wine. I gotta tell you, this is like the first time that I've, uh, I've done like uh, wine reviews, I guess, or just try to articulate about the wines on videotape. But it's a heck of a lot easier than sitting down and reading a paragraph or two. So I should do this more often. So. You obviously like it. Cheers. Cheers. It is great. Cheers. Great smiles once again. It's kind of funny on the on the, the finish. You get the tannin too. The tannin kind of hits you like on the finish and just kind of lingers there. Very very nice wine. So uh, happy Tuesday to all. Uh, hope you subscribe to the blog. I, I'm going to keep digging deep and try to give you the the full essence of uh, my Costa Rican experience. So I'm um, here for probably another month and a half or two months. So this is only the beginning. This is uh, Nueve and uh, uh, have a wonderful day.